Hello everyone in the internet, YouTube, the world, and beyond. My name is RFMG895, and I am bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops. Now let me get this, let me get this out of the way, this introductory of mine, since this is the first Black Ops video that I am putting on my uh, YouTube channel. And well, I guess I might as well show myself out to, to everyone and say everyone who I am. As I said, I am RFMJ95. I've been in YouTube since 2006. Uh, I got my Dazzle capture card about one, two years ago from Best Buy for $90. And um, I haven't been able to use it because of uh, some technical issues with my new TV that it doesn't have the things that it requires, blah, blah, blah. My first video using the Dazzle was probably the Modern Warfare 2 commentary that I did. But the only reason I did that is because I used the TV from downstairs and... Eh, long story short, got a new TV, couldn't use it, doesn't have the right thing, so... I guess I won't be able to use that. And, but at least now I got some splitters for Christmas, and... Um, and yeah, now it's all good. Now I can make commentaries, videos... Some cool stuff, some bad stuff of the games and everything. I'm showing to you. Now that that's out of the way, this match is domination on Havana. I go 45 and 16, which is I think is pretty good. I mean, that's not something I get so often. Every so often, I don't I don't get that. I'm not that great. I'm a pretty good player. I'm just not insanely great. I'm not Hutch. I'm not C Nanners. I'm not Tej, I'm not any of those commentators that do extremely well in about one, two matches. Or at least for what I can suspect, anyway. So, 45-16 is a pretty good score, but my all-time best score is 49-12. and 12, Which, amazingly and interestingly enough, that was my first ever Black Ops match. So when, right when I put the disc in, go to multiplayer, go in, that's it. That, that, that was my first game, it was Domination on launch, and I used the MP5K default class, which was pretty, pretty beast if I say so myself, because I usually don't get that at all in Modern Warfare 2, let alone with the first game on this one. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Nomination Vanna 45 and 16. Uh, I am using the M60 Grip for primary. Um, the secondary is ACOG Python, which I, in my opinion, is one of the best secondaries around. Which is in on par with the Akimbo M1911, because those those things could take out an elephant, an elephant herd. Yeah, for real. Anyways, uh, then I have some sleight of hand, I have a uh, hacker, and I have lightweight I believe it is, if I'm not sure, if, uh, it's either lightweight or ghost, but I doubt I'm using ghost, so it must be lightweight, especially since I'm using a large machine gun. And my kill streaks are UAV, Napalm Strike, and Mortar Team, which in my opinion is one of the best, best objective basic kill streaks to have like the most basic like not must have or has to have or must have in order to play no no, no. what the, those three is what napalm strike uav and mortar team is what i think is the best basic like like if you want to do well on objective based uh matches you might want to consider having those three now if you have a higher if you can go higher if you're really good at this game and you can go higher kill streaks than that, then you might as well go ahead and use chopper gunner, dogs, gunship, any anything that can basically help out your team. But th th those are what I think to be the best. Especially because UAV, everyone sees the rest of the team that don't have ghost. Napalm strike because let's say you're playing domination, you, you can cover your team form like a lion to trap them, I don't know, anything you can consider. And mortar team could be considered in domination too, like if they're capturing B and C, you just put right there in between, and somewhere around there, and 
you pretty much get get those kills and maybe even prevent a flag to be captured uh, which may lead to your team winning so that's what I think and that's why I get and here in this round this match I get three of them which is actually pretty pretty good for me since I don't get too much kill streak kills especially with mortar team mortar team is a unique type of kill streak it's very very hard to get a kill with it for me some some guys can just randomly pick it out and get quadruple kills oh well anyways I'm also here to talk about my version or what I think is camping now whenever I play with my friends or, or anyone like that they're like oh oh my god oh a camper huh stupid camper oh uh, and I'm just sitting there thinking are you serious a camper let me see and then I go back and we see in theater mode sometimes not all the times but sometimes they show me I'm like really he just got there like five seconds ago and they're like no no he's camping he he's staying in there man he, he's staying in there no 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 my what I think is camping is when they're looking straight at the door they have a claymore on the door and they're like looking at the door look outside look at the door look outside etc etc that is what I think is camping staying in one place for a long time long time does not mean 30 seconds or, an, or a minute or anything like that okay that's my definition of camping and besides guys why why do you guys care if they camp like yeah oh he's camping oh he, he's gonna kill me in my kill streak well he's just staying in one place if you know he's there just go around him avoid him at any cost I mean it's that it's not that sim it's not that hard that he's inside building the, the largest building in Havana like in the middle and you have to go to the middle always that, that, that doesn't seem right to me not right but that doesn't seem logical or enough reasoning to to, to good to do that. that that doesn't make any sense now what I do what I personally think of doing is like, there's a camper? Oh. Oh, objectives? No. Objectives are the second thing. Campers are the first thing I, I go against. Like, let's say they're, again, in the middle building of Havana, where I was sort of camping. Not, not, that's air quote camping. Like, some people would call it camping, so I'm air quoting camping. That's where I was. Like, let's say that. Why don't you guys just go around? I mean, I think I only checked the door once when I was doing that. I mean, they could have just easily came in, done done a little tea bag dance, and then killed me with a tomahawk or stuck or so, stuck me or something. It's not that hard. Or you could do my personal favorite is C4. I love 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 C4, but I'll explain that in another video because I don't want to give everything away right now. But I love 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 C4. It's just too good, too great, too. It's it's like the grenades from Call of Duty 4, except not as big as a radius and I can't throw it too far like that far probably medium range and that's about it but it's still pretty pretty amazing which is which is also very very hard to do because on jungle I'm, when they're on the rocks I mostly just from the bottom I just throw the C4 and I get them it's, it's, it's astounding how Treyarch makes this game these games like this And, uh, yeah, that's what I think of camping. Camping is just sitting in a corner and doing that. You can go around, you can throw a Semtex in through the window or through the door, through C4 or concussion grenades. Use teamwork, guys. You have a team for a reason. Now, if you don't have a mic and, and you wish, now there, you're a little bit out of luck. You're not going to stop in the middle of the game and, and write every single person on the team. A message when you're halfway through and the campers pretty much gone because that's another thing campers do not always stay the entire match I mean unless they're like really really stupid they they don't stay in the same spot forever I mean they know you're gonna you're gonna get mad you're gonna go all nerd rage on them and you're just gonna go oh, and you're just gonna tackle them like if they're like if they were a target and you were a raging bull or something so, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Campers will be campers. You can take out the campers whenever you want. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. 
So I'm gonna have to go guys pretty soon. Uh, that's my little introductory video. We'll work on the name since I know RFMG 895 is not too catchy. It's not too too like, oh you heard of this guy? No, no, that's that's not how I wanna be remembered. RFMG 895. Nah. Anyways, I'll try to post more videos of these. Thank you guys for subscribing, and if you don't subscribe then don't worry, you will one day. Anyways guys, take care. Thank you for watching.